I'm going to show you how you can extract text from PDF attachments on your table. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add a URL to this in the description. So um, we've got a couple of attachments here, a bunch of attachments, and then we want to extract the text from each one. A um, couple of things I wanted to note here is this only works on PDF. So if you get an image or a doc or docx, it won't work. I just put these in here just to demonstrate that. And then another thing is, um, so not all PDFs will work. So this is a PDF that is scanned. It's an image, essentially. It's not really text. So if you do this and you can't really get the text, this won't work. Um, the tool won't work. And I added a notice in here to uh, give you a way to check for yourself. So if you're not sure, go to this tool and uh, make sure that your PDFs actually are text uh, so that you can extract it. Anyways, so here's what you would see if you buy the tool. You'll start by filling up your API key, base ID, and table ID. Follow these blue URLs to find those. And then we'll put it side by side here to make things a little bit easier. Um, next, uh, you'll want to put in the attachments field. This is this thing right here. Make sure you uh, have an actual attachments field and make sure the name is case sensitive uh, for this field right here. And then the next thing is text. So this is where the text will be stored. It can be a long text or single line, up to you. Um, but yeah, just make sure they're uh, case sensitive. Let's go ahead and run this. All right, so we can see the text here. Um, okay, cool. So let's, for example, I mean, it's hard to show the side by side, but let's see. So we see the email here and the name and the address. So just demonstrate real quick. Okay, so the address, the name, etc. And then you, as you can see, if the document can could not be scanned, we'll give you a error message like this. And then another thing is we can scan multiple documents if you have multiple attachments. So we've got an invoice here and then a PDF sample. And um, if we open this, we see that this is the invoice and then we see next doc and then the text from the next document. This tool can also be scheduled and uh, triggered with webhooks. So if we go over here, you can schedule this to run regularly or you can also use a webhook.